Good morning everybody and this is your DAX day trade setup for today. So uh, yesterday has given us a pretty horrible pattern at the moment. That is a fairly clear head and shoulders. So you can see there's your shoulder, there's your head, there's your shoulder. So um, that in mind we have downside move potential to come and test this previous breakout. There are quite a few gaps down as well. And uh, you know we do need to consider. Well, we do need to have a sort of some sort of a healthy pullback as well. Uh, we can't just keep going up in a straight line. But I think most of this month has been a sideways motion. Look at the weekly. We grouped the the upside on the oscillators uh, inside bar, and it looks like a continuation. And we're forming a pin bar off the monthly. And you can see whenever we form these pin bars on the monthly for the DAX, uh, typically we have some kind of a pullback as well. So uh, with all of that in mind, do I want to short this yet? Nope, not yet. And uh, just let me fine tune that. And really, I suppose there's our new level there. So there's my inside tail kind of there. And look at my oscillators, group the downside, ready for a move to the back to the upside. So um, the, the logical trade here is to buy off the bottom, sell off the top. So we are range bound and that's kind of the logical trade at the moment. Uh, but sometimes logic is not always the right thing. So on the hour you can see we're below the moving averages again. Now yesterday we were talking about how we were holding the moving averages and if we needed, if we hold them, we, if we managed to hold them for long we would have been up. And then I gave you the, the bearish view as well which was a range break retest and it's a bearish view that played out at the bottom of the range. So. At this stage, I think the logical choice is to be buying off the bottom here. Uh, 15128, I think that's the, the logical choice at the moment. Uh, my concern is we are below the moving averages and we've got a crossover. So if we pull back into something like this, and there's so many tails you had to pick, but if we pull back up here, one at 15233 to 15250 area, and we reject that area, I would expect a second move equal to the length of this move down and a break to the downside. So pretty uh, big area we're in, big decisions to be made by a lot of traders today on the DAX. And uh, I think that's pretty much the, the long and short of it, excuse the pun. But uh, for me, I think I'm probably just going to sit on the sides here and wait. We still slap bang in the middle of earnings season as well, so there's so many different catalysts that could happen and drive us any direction right now. And the trend is up, so you know logically, when you look at this, the trend is up. We should be looking for an opportunity to the upside. And if you look at the three-hour off the 155 as well, which is normally a fairly good buying area, you can see there the buying area. But anyway. We are range bound, uh, we are sideways, this is dangerous territory for me anyway. Uh, potential head and shoulders for a move to the downside, uh, but also potentially a buying opportunity back to the top of the range. So again, 50-50, toss a coin and pick a direction if you want to gamble. And that's this is this is actually pure gambling at the moment for me. So, you know, is it going to go up? Is it going to go down? Are we going to continue sideways or are we going to break to the downside? Uh, there's three options here and each one of them has got valid patterns and structure. Uh, inside bar here as well, multiple inside bars off a, a major level. So anyway, enough rambling, that is sit on sides for me. It is end of month, so um, we'll just uh, take it easy today, I think, on, unless the S&P offers something different. But at the moment, it's looking like uh, just take it easy and enjoy the, enjoy the day. Anyway, hope it helps and uh, we'll catch up with you later. Cheers for now.